Good morning, everybody. Or Jay here with another near reincarnation video. And that game that you see going on in the background there, that is me playing near reincarnation on my PC on an emulator. It is stable for me and running well. And there's actually two different emulators that I've got to run this game. I'm going to show you where to get them, what settings to use, and how you can play this game on PC, just like me, in case you're dealing with some of the Android bugs or some of the issues going around. Let's get to it. Okay, now we're going to start this video on Nier Reincarnation's official Twitter page. And you can see they have confirmed that there is a little bit of an issue with Android 11 right now that's causing some crashes, and I've seen people in the comments talking about this. So, um, if you want to play on your phone and you're having this issue, at least know that they're working on it. But, that doesn't help you play right now. That's what I'm here for. If you have a PC, I'm going to show you the two different emulators I'm using. I'm using Bluestacks 5 and LD Player. Um, currently I'm playing on LD player, but I've got it to work on both of them. No problem. All right, first up, we're going to talk about Bluestacks 5. This was the first emulator I used. This is actually the emulator I used to re-roll on, and it worked just fine for me. To get to this page, this is the web page you want to land on. I googled Bluestacks 5 64-bit. You need to use the 64-bit version of these emulators to play the game. It's going to take you to this page, but don't just click on download Bluestacks 5 right here. You actually want to scroll down a little bit till you see this, and you want the Nougat 64-bit. You need this version of Bluestacks 5 right here to play the game. You're going to download that by clicking this button, you install it, and then you're going to open something called the Multi-Instance Manager. It looks like this. Now, I have mine set to like main right here, so I click this, I click start, boom, it's going to open up an instance of Bluestacks 5. Okay, I downloaded it, I opened up um, the version of Bluestacks 5 64-bit, and now I'm in the software. What are the settings I need to use to get this to run smooth? You guys, it took me a long time in Bluestacks to get this figured out. I'm going to show you exactly what my settings are right here. So I'm going to go to settings. It's going to open up a page that looks like this. It's kind of zoomed out. I'll zoom it in a little bit on the screen. Um, I'm using four core CPU allocation. Memory allocation, I have it set to four gigabytes, which is high. I set my frames to 60 FPS. You can click this button right here to enable high frames and jack it up to 240. You guys, this was giving me crashes. When I tried to just really push, push these frames right forward, my game was crashing, so I turned this off, and running it at 60 FPS has worked better for me. You go down to display right here, I'm running it on 1920 by 1080, and at 24 DPI. Um, I haven't messed with these, these should be your default settings. Graphics, this was the biggest one for me. This was the thing that got me off the crash every 10 minutes train. I'm running it on performance, which is legacy mode, and I'm running it on DirectX. Now, I've heard people running it on OpenGL and compatibility and having no problems. With my PC, I had to set these settings to get it to work. The rest of it, I didn't change anything on any other settings. Those are the only settings I messed with, and it's working really good for me. So I don't know if this will make Bluestacks work the best for you, but this is at least a jumping off point for you. A point where you can, you know, use a build that I know works and maybe tweak it to make yours work. Now we're going to talk about LD Player next, and it's even easier to get to work, and it's probably the one I would recommend the most right now. Okay, now LD Player is the current emulator that I'm playing the game on the most effectively. And to get this, you're going to want to Google Near Reincarnation LD Player. It will actually take you to some web pages that LD Player has set up specifically for the launch of this game. This is the page that you want, and this is the button you're going to want to click. Download Near Reincarnation on PC. You give this a click, and it will take you to the download page for um, the... Uh, for, oh, it'll just automatically download. I had to actually do the click here thing. Sometimes you got to do that. Anyway, this will download you the 64-bit version of LD Player. Again, you want to make sure you're using the 64-bit version of these emulators. Once you've got that downloaded, you will want to open the LD Multiplay 64-bit, and it will open up this little window right here that you see me drag around on the screen. You click Start, and this will pop up. And when that window opens up, you're basically good to go. I did not have to adjust any of the settings inside of LD Player to get near to run really, really smooth 
uh, for me. Now, I am going to show you the settings here, and I'm going to show you like what it is set to in case yours defaults to something else because maybe you have a different computer. If you want to run what has been stable for me, I'm on tablet resolution 1920 by 1080, uh, four cores on the CPU, eight gigs of RAM, and automatically expand when there's not enough space. Model. This is what it defaulted to, Samsung, whatever this phone is. Okay, I have frame rates set to high. Game settings, 60 FPS, just like on Bluestack, 60 FPS seems to be the stable one. And then you can see what I have clicked here. Then it gets into some settings for like PUBG Mobile. We don't really care about that. Okay, that's what you need to know there. Now, if you want to change your account from what you've been playing on to one of these emulators, I highly suggest going into the settings within the game. In fact, let's bring that up. All right, now if you're wanting to um, bind your account so you can move from one emulator to another or one device to another, let me show you how to do that real quick. You go up here, you click on Mama down here in the bottom right. She pops up, you go to Menu, click on that computer, and you wanna hit this Transfer Data button. You click that, and I have had luck with Square Enix Bridge as the transfer data. The Facebook one was being kind of iffy for me. It let me sign in once, it kind of didn't let me sign in another time, but I'm playing on an emulator and sometimes these things get wonky on that. But I had total luck with the Square Enix Bridge. So if you do that, then when you start a new game, there'll be an options menu up here in the corner. You click that button, transfer data, and you link your account to that Square Enix Bridge. That's worked really well for me. And there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And I hope to see y'all in game if there's ever like multiplayer or something. They're going to get the arena fixed eventually. Then I'll see you in the arena. Peace.